Hey guys, so <clears throat> that new Godzilla and Kong, Godzilla X Kong MonsterVerse teaser just dropped. Uh, I'll put a link for it in the description, or maybe I'll put it somewhere around here with all the fancy YouTube and the fancy YouTube stuff. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd share a couple of quick thoughts on it while I open this package I got from the, from the Japan. Um, <clears throat> so it's a pretty short teaser, only maybe barely over a minute. It's I don't even think it's two minutes long. Um, and it's pretty simple, you know, as, as you've probably seen it. It's this, uh, initially it looks like Kong on a throne, but upon closer inspection, you can see that this creature has very lanky limbs you know, like an orangutan, an orangutan, um, and, uh, they show this brief close-up where they're showing bright red hair and these glowing eyes, you know, they look a little bit like it's the sort of glowing eyes that, you know, a lot of animals have at night, you know, like cat's eyes, so to speak, but they are, you know, it's just it's interesting to consider the implications. It's, it's the implications are what's what's pretty neat about this. Um, I would say that because the teaser is so short, I'm not vibrating with excitement the way I was for um, Gamera Rebirth. Uh, I should have done a, re a response video, a reaction video to that, but I didn't. Uh, I had like, my hairs were standing on end. But for Godzilla, okay, first of all, The New Empire is a pretty good title. But the Godzilla X Kong title is kind of awkward because it's like they don't want to say Godzilla versus Kong, but they don't want to say Godzilla and Kong, which is still kind of an awkward title. Um, it's excuse me, fat allergies. It's it's just very interesting. Um, there's a lot of there's just a lot of implication because you know they're showing there's no there's no dialogue it's just this one effects shot of whatever this new character is the implication is that i guess it's like an evil kong and then there are these skull there's a godzilla skull and a kong skull now whether this is meant to be, be interpreted literally um as like that's literally supposed to be godzilla and kong um or maybe godzilla and kong's ancestors you know, because they had, a, you know, an ancient rivalry. Um, or if it's supposed to be, like, the the intent. It's This is more about artistic intent, artistic flourish. Like, the implication to me, and I could be wrong, is this is a Kong-like creature. This is a member of Kong species, or maybe an offshoot, from the Hollow Earth, who is not as altruistic as Kong, not as friendly to humanity as Kong, and it's it's coming to the surface, basically to conquer the surface and, and create a new empire. Um, and the intent is that it wants to kill Godzilla and Kong, um, which is very interesting. It's an interesting perspective because I think a lot of people were expecting that the new enemy, there's going to be a new enemy from the Hollow Earth and it was going to be Biollante or Destroyer or Destoroya or something, something like that. Uh, an old, uh, a classic Toho monster. And instead it is not that. It's, uh, it's, it's something that... Oh my god, it's something story-related, you know? And honestly, the MonsterVerse, I think, is at its strongest when it's doing Kong stuff. Like, the Godzilla stuff is kind of window-dressing. I, I mean, I, I I like the MonsterVerse stuff. I, I do, you know? I have, I have criticisms. I have notes. And in all honesty, uh, the Japanese stuff is what really interests me. Um, especially stuff like um, Gamera Rebirth or... The upcoming Takashi Yamazaki Godzilla movie, which the rumors, you know, people have been calling it Godzilla Zero. I, I don't know if that's the official title or just a fan title. It's just something I saw pop up. That interests me a little bit more, but 
the Kong stuff seems like it's the stuff they're actually able to kind of sink their teeth into, whereas the kind of Godzilla stuff often feels like a bit of a, like I said, like kind of window dressing, because they, they can't, I guess they, it's kind of like, it, it kind of like it is over at AEW, where they can't dig into the origins too much, because I, I don't know. But um, what I have here new Dreamcast games. Uh, I got a Japanese Dreamcast uh, last week from the good people at Game Over Video Games here in Austin, and um, so they will trade in some old games and stuff, and I was like, oh, I think I have enough money to buy a Japanese Dreamcast, because I've had, for a while, Godzilla Generations Maximum Impact, um, and but it's but it's Japanese only, so I couldn't play it on an American Dreamcast without modding it or um there's like a way to modify american dreamcasts to play japanese dreamcast games and i could not get anyone to help me or find like it was just <clears throat> it was like anyway it was just this it was a big pain it was just a thing that kind of fell along the wayside and finally i saw that and i was like oh i'll just buy this japanese dreamcast and i'll just use that but um but yeah i found a couple others online for pretty not very, not very expensive, and I found, you know, the original Godzilla Generations, and this is a game that I played, um, at a friend's place when I was a kid called Psychic Force. I think it's a fighting, yeah, if I remember, it's like a fighting game, and it's kind of like Dragon Ball-ass, like you fly around shooting energy beams at each other, I think. It, again, these were really cheap, and I was just like, I guess I'll add to my Dreamcast collection, but Godzilla Generations is kind of legendarily not great, but there's a novelty to it uh, of just like as a Godzilla, if you're a Godzilla fan, if you have a hyper fixation on Godzilla and you just want to like walk around and, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's very similar to the PS, the PS4 Godzilla game or Godzilla Versus or whatever they call, uh, whatever you want to call it. They came out a couple of years back. But um, you can play as Godzilla 98, you can play as Minila, you can play as a giant Dr. Service Olive. Anyway, that's fun. And then I got something else that the, the seller threw in. If I can fish it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, allergies are real bad. This is... There it is. If I can get it open. But yeah, the new te teaser looks interesting. I'm really... Um, I am very curious. I'm like, oh, they're going in a different direction than I expected. Because uh, I'd heard some chatter over the years about, like, kind of some of the ideas of certain... Well, certain things they had considered um, for the possible, like, instead of going... Instead of doing, like, another Godzilla and Kong movie, just doing, like, well, you're going to do a Godzilla movie, then we're going to do a Kong movie, then we're going to do a Godzilla movie. But that's not... Um, that is not uh, the direction they're going in now, because... I think they wised up and were like, okay, so, because Godzilla King of the Monsters didn't do amazing, like it did okay financially, but, um, but it didn't, like, it did not become this Marvel-sized hit, it was a modest hit, it was a modest success, um, and, um, I believe and that's because of a couple of different reasons that I've talked about, but anyway, real quick. This is called a VDU, I believe it's called a VDU. It's a, it's a, I think it's, it's like a memory card for the Dreamcast. It has a little screen on it, because it has like these little Tamagotchi style virtual pets, and this is a Godzilla one. So that's cool. Uh, I, I believe if you play a Godzilla game with it, and it's Godzilla 1998 branded, which is really funny. There's a Gamera one too, and a Mothra one, but I think they're really kind of expensive. Um, but yeah, the seller threw this in and that's, that's pretty cool. So got a fun little box day there. So anyway, yeah, um, <clears throat> it's really fun. Um, and, um, 
I think that's all. I think that's all. I've been rambling for almost 10 minutes now, so I don't know if there's much else to say because there's just not much else to say. Um, as far as new stuff goes, I will be making some new announcements soon. I've got a couple of projects uh, in the works, but in the meantime, you can go check out the Gorgo action figure pre-order uh, through Titanic Creations. I did the box art. It's an unofficial Gorgo action figure. That's going to be really exciting. Um, let's see. Spectre Man Heroes got fully funded on Kickstarter, which is really exciting. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, and there's some other stuff coming out. Uh, I, I have a, uh, a coming out, a, a coming out, uh, print that will be, um, for sale soon that will be benefiting trans charity. Um, and I will see you guys at All Monsters Attack in May, uh, the weekend of May 5th. And uh, then I think Monster Palooza is at the end of the month. And I feel like I've got other stuff. Oh, yeah. And then I think the weekend of May 20th is um, Kaiju 3. So I've got three Kaiju events coming up in May in Chicago, San Antonio, and uh, L.A. So see you kids there. And uh, yeah, I... I'm going to go play a terrible Godzilla game from the late 90s. Bye. I need to turn this off.